Today we want to talk about creating simple and easy forms. So let's go. So what I want to do here first is I want to highlight table products. And the very quickest and easiest way to create a form is simply to come to create and hit this form button. And you have a form. It's that simple. Now, it's not placed where you might want everything to be placed. It might not be in the exact order that you want everything, but it creates a quick and simple form, uh, including the pictures and the large pictures here. Everything is on the on the screen. Now, with a scroll bar here, you can scroll to the right. It's probably a little wider than what you need. If I were to get rid of the navigation pane, I could then have it all on the screen. Okay, very good. Um, so let's look at the next option. The next option would be to start by using the form wizard. Now the, the form wizard here allows you then to select your fields. And when you click next, you choose from four different types of forms. Now let's show each one of these. The columnar form starts here and it's good, automatically gives it a name that I could change if I wanted to. And then we go and we get what they call a columnar form. It'll put the pictures and everything in, in basic columns. And in this case, I put it in two different columns, put the pictures over to the right. Uh, might want to resize the pictures based on the size of your picture that you have embedded in that particular field. But quick and simple, and it gets the job done. So let's do the next one. Products is still highlighted. I'm going to create, and I'm going to go back to the form wizard. And let's uh, go ahead and choose all the fields and select tabular. Let's see what tabular looks like. Okay, so I click finish and tabular then takes and puts the field names up above in the header and then across it puts all of the fields. Okay, so every, every record is on one solid roll all the way across. Now, if you've got more fields in your table than what will show on a screen, of course, you'll end up with a scroll bar down here. That's, that's just something you deal with. Now, you can modify this, of course, and cl close down some of these fields and get more of it onto the screen. But the bottom line is here it creates a quick and simple form that you can then you can then put in design view here and you can modify, you know, highlight both of these, modify the widths and and do whatever you need to in order to get get it looking the way you want to. So let's look at the next possibility. Let's go back to create here. And I'm going to go back to the form wizard, choose all my fields, hit next, and I'm going to go to the data sheet view. Now, if I go to the data sheet view, then I'm going to see something that looks like if I used the a query or just used the table in data sheet view, that's what I would get. The difference is that this is a data sheet view form. So it's actually a form and not a data sheet, which means you get all the property sheet items of a form rather than just the, the data sheet properties of a table, which makes a big difference when you want to do formatting or do math and tab indexing and all kinds of different things. You can modify things in a form that you just can't modify on a table. So this makes it particularly useful if you want to show a data sheet type of view, but you want the ability to edit like a form. This one is uh, definitely for you. And what's interesting too about the data sheet view is if you come on over here and put it in form view, you get pretty much the same thing as the form view that we created when we use the wizard. So uh, data sheet view is somewhat flexible and I've used it, I used it a lot of different times, you know, just to present data in a meaningful way. Okay, so let's look at our last option here. I'm gonna go create here, go to form wizard, choose all my fields, hit next. And I'm going to go to justified here. Now justified means basically that they're going to push the fields to the left margin and the right margin. And as I scroll down, if you scroll down here, it, it notes that these particular fields in this area are in fact small enough that they could put multiple fields in a row. They get down to vendor ID and they figure picture number can go on it. But when it gets to picture small, it doesn't believe that picture small can fit in the width that it needs. So it makes it on a, its separate row. So while scale is a very small field, it didn't feel for some reason that it could put any of these other fields in there. So 
it has some flexibility. I tend to think that when I go to Design View to, to update this one, to put it together for a user, that it, it requires a little bit too much editing. So I don't generally tend to use this, the justified view very often. But here is, you know, five quick, easy ways to, that you can make a form and get them out to your users very quickly. So please subscribe. Please uh, hit that like button if you think this content is worthwhile and hope to see you later in another video. Thanks.